Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here at Dell's CES 2026 preview tour with Nick from Dell. And we have something pretty exciting to talk to you folks. XPS is back. That's right. Yeah, we're very excited to have it back. Awesome. What do you got here? So this is the new XPS 14. Yeah. Uh, embodies the same great values that XPS has for a long time. Ultra durable uh, CNC chassis. Uh, we use CNC because it's the best blend of mobility, uh, strength, and weight. That's how we get to these optimized form factors here. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, we've made some new improvements for this generation of product. We've got the conventional function row back in this, this yeah. generation. Okay. We've got new key switches. So yeah. we've changed the force deflection curve, said differently. It's got a crisper key feel to it. Okay. And it's got wider scissor mechanisms for better key stability. It really just helps you find your home on the key that you're looking for. So and concave keycaps too, right? Concave keycaps, yeah. uh, point, point 0.3 millimeter dish on these keycaps. Just a little bit, yeah. And so all of these things come together to provide a great typing experience. And the focus groups we did when we were developing this keyboard, we got really positive responses in terms of people feeling very confident mm -hmm. in their uh, key feeling abilities here. Cool. So also we've added these tactile lines to the touchpad so you can know where it is. The borders yeah. <laughs> also helps with finding the right click. Um, they're, they're visually fairly subtle, but again, it's a tactile experience. So we want you to be able to feel the edge of the products. Mm -hmm. And Additionally, the product's lighter than the previous generation. This 14-inch product weighs just three pounds. Three pounds, all right. So easily fits in your bag. Great battery life. You got XPS now on the... the yeah, I almost buried the lead there, yeah. X, <laughs> XPS is back, and it's on, on what we call the A cover or the display back of the product. Yeah. Uh, great logo. Love seeing it prominent on these. Yeah. Let's talk about... So this is the 14, right? Right. Um, display technology, can you talk about that? That one I will allow you to speak to Amanda okay. about. But we, yeah, it's we, OLED. Oh, yeah. This one's an OLED. Okay. Uh, so obviously, great, great picture. Yeah. But I'll let her get into the details. Yeah, we'll go into the hood with XPS shortly. But um, anything else from a design standpoint? This, this feels like really, it's like nice and light. It's three pounds, but yeah. it's still like solid. Like there's a... A right. really good sort of density to it but not not a, a heavyweight right um, and that's you know kind of back to that cnc construction okay we always want to have products that feel super durable uh but but aren't super heavy and are are optimized from a form factor perspective mm -hmm. the only other thing that i might add is that we do still have four speaker audio if down so firing got here down firing speakers here yeah and then you've got upward firing speakers that fire upward through the keyboard. So same great okay. immersive audio that you had in the last generation. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we started in the previous generation are, are advancing in this one is we want the interior of this product to be a calm place to be. We know that the star of the show is this infinity edge display. Mm -hmm. We want everything else to kind of fade into the background and what you're doing here to really kind of take prominence. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So that's the skins of the new Dell XPS 14. Other models are, do we have a 16 coming, right? We have an XPS 16 coming. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, time frame for this? Time frame, I will leave to Amanda. As okay. Well. I, think, I think it's sometime in January. We're going to find out more. We're going to go under the hood with Dell XPS, the new Dell XPS. It's back. How are you doing, everybody? Dave is behind the camera now, and I am with Amanda from Dell. And this time we're going to dive inside the new XPS. So Amanda, why don't you take it away and show us what's going on here? Sure. So we've opened up both the 14 and 16 for you guys so you can see what's kind of happening under the hood. You'll see inside we have a dual fan solution, a single heat pipe that's eight millimeters, so it's wider. This is the 900 ED battery that um, Jeff talked to you guys about on stage. So it's 70 watt hours, but it's 900 ED versus last year's 850 ED battery. So it's packing more cells into a smaller space. So the thinner we get there and the thinner we get on the fans, we're able to shrink the actual overall Z height of the system paired with some panel technologies and things we'll talk about later. Gotcha. So you were able to go a little thinner, but more battery capacity. Yes, That's exactly. Awesome. Very so cool. Getting that longer battery life up to 27 hours. 
Um, we still have up firing speakers and down firing speakers. So you can see, even though we don't have those speaker grills anymore, because yep. we have that clean finished design, you can still yeah, see the speakers sure. there on both sides that are up firing. Yep. And on either side of the battery, you have the down firing speakers. Very cool. All right. And so, what's happening on the, is this the bottom edge here? What are we looking so this at? This is actually, it's the keyboard oh, on the, the 16 keyboard. inch. Okay. I've okay. turned it over so you can see the inside of, of both of them. But we, we want to highlight here is on, again, on stage, Jeff talks about the Gore Aerogel, right? And yep. some of the thermal insulators that we use. So we use graphite sheets, which is an example here. And the Gore actually lives right underneath there. Okay. So that's helping dissipate heat faster. It's directing it where we want to go. Um, out the back. And it blocks it from coming up through the keys. Exactly. And can can I flip this over for sure one can. second? Can we talk about the slightly different keyboard design a bit here? What, uh, what did you guys do you here? Can, so we changed some actuation actually behind the keyboard to get a crisper typing feel. Right. Um, it should reduce your misclicks as well. We enhanced the touchpad. So now the, the touchpad has the these subtle etch lines on the side so you can feel where it starts and ends sure. and also see it. We brought back the mechanical function keys. So um, last generation, the touch function row did a couple of things for us. One, it looked really cool, but two, it added um, some thermal headroom. Yep. Moving to more efficient designs. We have a little bit more space inside. Processors are a little more efficient. We don't need that thermal headroom anymore. Gotcha. So with the feedback from everyone, in addition to not needing that from an engineering level, we were able to bring those keys back. Gotcha. And these are just the fans broken out separately. These are what's inside the machine? Yeah. So this is actually last year's fan. Oh, last year's fan. Okay. Um, and then this is this year's fan on the 16 inch. We have a dual fan. We have two of these. Yep. Um, but want to show that uh, generational compared, this is actually 61% larger. Gotcha. So 1.6x yeah. the size. And then this is the uh, the heat pipe solution on the 16 inch. We moved to a dual heat pipe solution. Gotcha. Um, on the 14 inch, we have the single eight millimeter because we're at 25 watts. Okay. On the 16 inch, we moved to 35 watts, so we need the dual heat pipe um, there gotcha. to keep and it cool. Is this the motherboard size? Yes. So that's actually wow. that's an it's called an HDR high density motherboard. Gotcha. Um, and so we're able to do it in layers, smaller motherboard. That gives me more room in the device to do things like bigger fans, bigger batteries, right. speakers, that sort is, of thing. Is this something I can pick up? Will it let me pick this up? You or can pick it, it up. Test? I think it's a, yeah, but there you can go. pick it up. I just want to give a sense of scale to everybody, how small this motherboard is. And um, this is Intel's latest mobile platform. This is Panther Lake here that right. I'm holding right now. Yes. So, yeah, that's pretty wild. And the XPS 16, will that come with up to XE 12 graphics or is it XE 4? It does. It comes up to, we'll start at the U5, we'll scale all the way up to the U9 with 12 XE graphics. That's amazing. That's awesome. And, and a motherboard that size. And a motherboard that size. Wow, that's awesome. And we do all this so you have a more mobile, more comfortable experience. So we have a de actually a demo set up here okay. um, that demonstrates how cool the systems are running on your lap at about 80% performance or power compared to what we see in the industry. So we've tested some other laptops within the same class, right. tested what we call the D cover, the bottom cover. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see that we're running about 8C cooler. So me just saying that does, probably doesn't mean a whole bunch, but if you go put your hands actually on the laptop and feel that, yep. noticeably cooler. Gotcha. I want to make an inappropriate joke, but I won't. <laughs> so before I let Amanda go, there's actually some screen innovations happening with the latest XPS machines as well. So Amanda, tell me what's going on with this demo and what you guys did with the screens for the new XPS machine. So we're showing here our last generation 2K LCD display versus our current gen, what's launching here in January. And the big differences here are tied to power consumption. So you'll see um, you're drawing 2.18 watts here versus the 1.92 there. A lot of that's driven by variable refresh rates. And so last generation, we were 30 to 120 hertz. Mm -hmm. And the new one is all the way down to one hertz. So one to 120 hertz. So really extending that battery life. So when, when there's something static on the screen, we can drop refresh rate down to one hertz and save some power, extend battery life. That's right. If you're watching and the movie, it, it ramps up. Without diminishing quality brightness at all. Exactly. So very, very cool. And what happens if we slide down this sort of demo area here? What else are we showing? We slide down. We have a quick demo here that just shows how thin our panels are, how the technology has evolved. And so we're showing the thinness of the glass on the OLED. And then we have a, just a competitor panel here. And overall, this again contributes to that Z height um, of the overall laptop itself. Gotcha. And in addition to um, the standard IPS panels that go down to one hertz, you also have new OLED panels right. for these machines, right? So what's happening over here now? So this is demonstrating our 16 inch, again, last generation versus the new panels that'll be shipping. Um, the new ones are bolder, they're brighter. Um, so this is our 4K from last generation and the new one's a 3.2K and it actually, it's actually looking better than last generation on the 4K. So you're getting basically more color coverage, 
brighter output, deeper blacks. So a higher quality panel, although pixel density not quite as high. Exactly. Awesome. And these are also um, better efficiency as well. And these are the tandem OLEDs. Gotcha. And the, the, I believe it's HDR 500 support, 1 million to 1 contrast. That correct? is correct. And yep. 20 to 120 hertz. And there was also, is this the new anti-reflective coating on this panel, or is that the same from the last two generations? That's the same coating from the okay, last gotcha. generation, yeah. Awesome, looks great. Gotcha, very cool, Amanda, this is awesome. We are excited to get our hands on these, and thank you so much. We Absolutely. appreciate it. Good Talk to you soon.